when the British Royal Air Force was just beginning, two twin flyboys sought to soar above and defend the skies. But their first flight was quite a disaster, and they continued to crash, and crash, and crash, and of course, crash. Could it be possible that God would now use their special talents in the remotest place on Earth? Journey with us now to their island getaway to see what has become of the long-lost Banzai brothers and see the wonders that God can do. Hello, hello there, mates. Good to see you. Colonel Banzai here. Just came out to have a look about and see what's going on. Uh, Chauncey and, and Mumsy have taken 800-pound gorilla for flying lessons again. Now, I thought I heard them earlier, but it seems to be a strange plane circling the island. Yeah, I wonder who that could be. Hmm. Oh. Oh, oh. There's a plane. Oh, my. That's, that's not Monty's plane. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. This way. No. No, this way. Oh. Everyone. Everyone, don't get caught up. <laughs> Saints alive! Oh, that was quite a drop. Fortunately for me, I landed on me heat. Oh, Popsy! Popsy, is that you? It is. Oh, kids, this is my dad. We call him Popsy. Oh, well, what are you doing here? Well, I missed my sweet, beautiful bride and my two favorite boys, so I came for a visit. Oh, oh, Give it old Popsy a hug. Oh, oh, so good to see you. I'd um, know you anywhere, Chauncey. Oh, um, I'm Algy. Right, you are, and don't you ever forget it. Okay. So, where is my wee little Chauncey? It's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, there you are, Chauncey. Oh. Let me give you some nuggies for old times' oh, sake. Oh, no, Popsy, Popsy. No, that is not Chauncey. It's not? No, oh. that's, that's one of the kids. I was wondering why his heat was so soft. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that old bean. Oh, so where is Chauncey and my sweet little Momsy? Oh, uh, they're with 800-pound gorilla. What? An 800-pound gorilla? Oh. Where is he? I'll throw him to the ground and wrestle him. I'll tear him limb from limb no, if no, he tries no. to hurt my sweet little mumsy. Oh, Popsy, Popsy, chill. It's okay. He's our friend. Your friends with an 800-pound gorilla? Yes, and we're teaching him how to fly. Your friends with an 800-pound flying gorilla? Well, yes, better to be friends than enemies. Oh, you've got a good point there, son. <laughs> I should know. Why, I have certainly faced my fair share of wild beasties in my day. Oh, yes, that is true. This one time, he wrestled two alligators at the same time. I had tied their tails together and they chased each other in circles for the whole day. <laughs> yes, and another time, he took on a ferocious bear. I it was a great big grizzly bear. He started out as a big, hairy monster, but I wrestled him to the ground and tickled his belly until he cried uncle. By the time I was through with him, he looked more like Winnie the Pear. <laughs> My Popsy's not afraid of anything, are you, Popsy? Nothing on God's green earth. Why, one time I flew all the way to Koala Lampor just so I could have a tussle with the world-famous Koala Bear. Uh, koala Bear? Uh, they're just tiny little creatures. Aye, but this one had missed his nap and oh. he was in a right nasty mood. Ah, and you remember that one time we took that boat ride and I wrestled with that great big dinosaur? <laughs> How could I forget? They threw us out of Universal Studios that day. Aye. <laughs> But not before I showed that brontosaurus who was boss. You see, kids, that's the thing with beasties. You got to show them who's in charge. Uh, but Jesus never had to do that, because everyone knows Jesus is the boss. Oh, yes. Jesus is the top authority, the one in charge. Right, Popsy? You can say that again. Okay. Jesus is the top authority, the one in charge. Right, Popsy? Aye, indeed okay. he is. Why, he has power over everything and everyone. Mm -hmm. He's the Lord of everything. He even has power over death. Right, power over death. Uh, wait, did you say power over death? Aye, oh. even death. Like that one time he gave Lazarus a wake-up call. Uh, Remember oh, that one? Um, <laughs> oh, yes, I do. I love that story. <gasps> Maybe you could read it to us. Sure, get me a Bible. <laughs> okay. All right. I believe in miracles. There ah, you are. I love that. <laughs> I do believe in miracles, too. And I think I found yeah. a miracle right here in the book of John. Now, this is when Jesus' poor friend Lazarus had passed away. Um, uh, he what? He passed away. Passed away. He right. cacked the bucket. 
I don't know what he died! Oh, yeah. right. He yeah. passed away. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, Lazarus was very sick. Mm -hmm. And his sisters, Mary and Martha, had sent a message to Jesus to come right away. Aye, but when Jesus heard about it, he said a very strange thing. He told his disciples this sickness would not end in death. Hmm. He said it was for God's glory that God's Son may be glorified. Oh, well... What do you suppose he meant by that, Popsy? Well, to glorify Jesus means to honor Jesus with praise. So mm. I think he's gonna do... Oh? A miracle! A miracle! A miracle! <laughs> now, when Jesus arrived, Lazarus had passed away. And his poor little sisters were crying their wee little eyes oh, out. My. And Jesus met up with Martha, and he told her, Your brother is gonna rise again. Yes, and Martha said, He will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Aye, now what do you think Martha meant by that? Oh, well, she believed in the scriptures, and that means that those who believe in Jesus will go to heaven. Aye, indeed they will, but Jesus did an amazing thing. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Oh. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. Oh, wow. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Oh, I believe. I believe, Popsy. Well, that's because it's true, Algy. Oh. Jesus has resurrection power. Oh. oh, resurrection is an awfully big word, Popsy. Aye, but we serve an awfully big Lord. <laughs> ah, but really, resurrection simply means to bring back to life. Yeah, he, it means being raised from the dead. Popsy, mm -hmm. are you telling me that Jesus has the power to bring dead people back to life? Well, kids, who created life in the first place? God, aye! Oh, and who gave Jesus all authority over heaven and earth? Aye, God! Oh, 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 I see. That makes sense, then, yeah. that he would have power over life and death. Aye, indeed. And, it can, and I can prove it, too, oh. straight from the Word of God. Now, look what happens next. There was a giant stone in front of the cave where Lazarus was buried. And Jesus told them to take away the stone. Yes, and they rolled the stone away. And Jesus thanked the Lord for hearing him. And then Jesus called out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. And Lazarus obeyed Jesus and came out of the cave. He was alive. It was a miracle. A miracle. A miracle. A miracle. Oh, oh, Popsy, I believe. Well, uh, well, you should, you know. You know what Jesus said? Did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? Oh, I see the glory and the resurrection power. It's incredible. Oh, that reminds me. Do you remember when you and Chauncey were wee little boys and I used to give, tell you that special sale? Oh, 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 we taught it to the kids. Oh, good. Oh, let's all do it together. Right. He's out, everyone. Here we go. That's it's incredible, incredible but, but true. What a God of wonders can do. do. <laughs> ah, good show, Aldi. Come on, kiddies. Come back next time. Love and give us. Oh, let's bring the Bible with us. Oh, okay. I've got more stories. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this no, is, this oh, this is oh. the other.